All right, it is time for our last award of the night, presenting the honors for Male Athlete of the Year. Two all-time greats from the University of Michigan. First, he was twice named World Swimmer of the Year by Swimming World Magazine in 1989 and 1990. He broke the world record in the 200 breaststroke six times. That's a record in and of itself. Joining him, a two-time Olympian in 2012 and 2016, and the current American record holder in short course, 1500 meter the freestyle event. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, 1992 Olympic champion Mike Barrowman and 2016 Olympic silver medalist, Connor Yeager. The year after the Olympics can be really tough for many athletes. There's a natural letdown after the games, yet continued greatness waits for no one. Especially when another world champions is right around the corner. This year's world champs in Budapest were contested just 10 months after the closing ceremony in Tokyo. Safe to say these four nominees were fueled by fresh motivation as they delivered breakthrough performances in 2022. Our first nominee is double Olympic champion, Bobby Fink. This summer, he did what he does best. He broke the spirits of his competitors over the last lap of his races, while also breaking American records in both the 800 and the 1500 freestyle. Thanks, Bobby. Your next nominee is Ryan Murphy, who entered the World Championships with just one thing missing on an otherwise perfect aquatic resume, a world title. In Budapest, Murphy claimed his first in the 200 backstroke. Our third nominee is Carson Foster, who just missed an Olympic berth last year. In 2022, he showed why he is one of the brightest all-around stars in the sport today. In Budapest, he swam all personal bests, earning a pair of silver in the 200 and 400 IM, along with gold as a member of the 4x200 relay. Your final nominee is Nick Fink, who swims of the finest stroke of all. This summer in Budapest, the veteran Fink had perhaps the meat of his life, winning four medals, including gold in the 50 breast in American record time. So we have Bobby Fink, Ryan Murphy, Carson Foster, and Nick Fink, our nominees for the 2022 Male Athlete of the Year. Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Bobby Fink set two American records in the distance events in Budapest, winning gold in the 800 and silver in the 1500 freestyle at this year's World Championships. Bobby Fink hitting the gas to another goal. <laughs> You've been finked. Even though it was the Olympics last year, this whole past year has been pretty stressful. Just this one means a little bit more. Ryan Murphy won two gold and two silver medals at this year's World Championships, most notably his first individual world title with his victory in the 200 backstroke. Ryan Murphy, world champion of the 200 back. What I've always loved about this sport is competing, trying to be the best in the world. That never gets old. Carson Foster earned two silver medals in individual medleys at his first major international competition and added gold as a member of the U.S. winning 4x200 freestyle relay. Foster with his second silver of the meet. Two silver medals is way more than I expected and I'm going to celebrate the second place for a little bit but next goal is to get on top so back to work. Nick Fink won two gold, one silver, and one bronze at the World Champs. In the 50 breast, Fink's gold medal time of 26.45 set an American record and gave the U.S. its first ever world champion in this event. Too close to call, and it will be Fink with gold! American record! Oh, hail to the king, I will not fall! Once it hits me, I'm sure I'm going to feel a lot of relief and, and happiness and a whole lot of other things. Yes! My mind is literally blown. Connor, you want to do the honors? Okay, and the golden goggles go to Bobby Fink. Here he comes! Bobby Fink, the American! Can he do it again like Tokyo? Uh, 
I, so um, I guess they let me do it to them three times in a row. Uh, only Greg, Greg got away the fourth time, but we'll forget about that one. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Nick, my cousin, uh, Ryan, and Carson. Those are all incredible swims, and just being able to be up there and, and compete with them and being a part of this uh, nomination with them just means a lot, especially Carson. Uh, I didn't really grow up racing him, but I think the first race we had together was 2019. Um, but just being able to race these guys and then finally being able to be on the same team as Nick and, and Ryan, who I kind of idolized growing up, and especially Connor back here. Never got to be on the same team as him, but I idolized him growing up. So being able to shake his hand and um, just being able to be, be on the same team as these guys means a lot. So thank you.